guy. One of the things that you hear over and over again oh, is people feel intimidated or they're a little nervous about putting the first oh, move on the canvas. So I thought we'd devote this entire show today to teach you how to just sort of oh, open yeah. up and, and take life easy and of these. enjoy painting. We're going to use a very limited palette and maybe I'll just use something like a serious brush to do the palette. It's very simple, but I want to show you how to get over this fear of your first painting. So let's have a of colors that I'm going to use across the screen. And let's just have some fun today. Just drag out your easy chair and get your big glass of iced tea, kick back, and, and sort of enjoy this. If you have your paintbrush out, I invite you to paint along with this. And I think you'll enjoy doing something that's a little different. It's very free and very relaxed. And it gets you over this tightness or this fear of your first painting. So I'm just putting a little liquid white on the canvas. And basically here, all we're looking for it's just a nice, thin, even coat of the liquid medium all the way across the canvas. It just makes it in this way. It's what the house colors are doing. And everything is in it. Now, this is a pre stretched canvas. It has give to it. Please. It's, it's, not, it's not a canvas board. We don't recommend those. It's not a It's not a canvas board. We don't recommend those. Because they are a hard board in the center. Absorb this liquid light and very rapidly your surface will become dry and it's no fun to paint on anymore because this is wet. Hey yo, <laughs> all right, let's take what's going on? And, and I'm just going to play today. Come on let's in, have fun. A little yellow ochre to right back. Don't go away. A little, a little touch. Come on, man. Uh, remember, very we talked little. about uh, I'll just make a, a light little color like so. Our responsibilities, you know. Brush. So we're just letting that blend. We're going to make a very soft Okay, all right, all right, man, all right. You were doing better, all right. You woke up late. Just play all right, but come on, man. We got to We got to do our part. Yeah, man, so how were things today? I was at down there at the J-O-B. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Boss tripping up. Well, that's what they do. That's why I am an entrepreneur, you know. Ain't no boss but me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's a scary, scary thing for you. Well, it's a scary thing for me, too. So, hey, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, all right. Oh, check this out. I found this little baby. Look at her. No, I think I'm uh, going to clean her up. Make sure she works really good. Clean out these uh, battery ports because they had some corrosion. One actually has some corroded batteries inside there, and uh, so I went ahead and uh, and uh, so on. Uh, anyway, I found this little baby a bargain. Yeah, she's really nice. Oh, look, look. Well, I don't know if she works. I don't have a. Uh, batteries yet but I'm gonna clean her up first and then get some batteries to put in it but check this out so this actually pop it checks out and take a look now so this has its own compartment and uh in the compartment, there's some batteries. Now these, this were pretty good too. There was a little well, corrosion right there, but I, I got it out, and uh, you can see that there's still a little bit, you know, a little bit more there. But you know, it's hold on, let me get this back. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Thanks. 
So look, it's got its own little spot right inside there. So you see those? And then you just take this bad boy. It's got that little connections right, right inside there. And then you just, well, you gotta get it in there. Hold on. We got her. And she's got a um, so we got that and that and that. And then the speakers, you know, really nice Sony, really nice. So, I'm gonna put her over here. We don't want her to, uh, you know, get hurt or anything. So what do you think? Well, I'm thinking, here, well, let me see. I think, uh, how much is this? I'm going to go on eBay now and see what, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's see how much she's, this thing is a S R F F. SRF and then dash eight zero W and that's Sony. Okay, it's Sony. So and the computer says, oh look at that. Oh yeah, it's like hundred and some dollars and um let's see how much it sold for. And that's really nice because I only bought it for five dollars. That's really good. Oh wow! There's one that sold for a hundred dollars. There's one that sold for a hundred dollars, eighty-five dollars, fifty-five dollars. So I could probably get around a hundred dollars for I think about a hundred dollars. I could be able to get for this, but I don't know. I think I really like it. I might just keep her once I. Make sure she plays and sounds really good and all of that and you know well but it's only FM but it's a really nice looking what do you think? Seven nine. Just get the money. Yeah, well I guess we'll cross that bridge when it comes right. <laughs> Let me put her back over here. Oh man. Alright, so uh um, What happened? You can just turn the brush and they told you guys what? Create all types of effects. By the end of the year. Dude. Once again, this is such a fantastic oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. You don't trace up I know, uh, you don't have any guidelines. this job means so much to you. And restricts you here is your imagination. Just your bankruptcy. Imagination. Man, I thought they were having, they were like killing it. They kept hiring and hiring and hiring. Oh, they overhired, overproduced, and then everything went south. Wow. Well, what you gonna do? What's that? You want? Me to help you? Yeah, I mean. <sighs> Alright, um. Alright, hold on. Let's see. Alright, let me pull up Microsoft Word. New document resume. Do you have a resume? Watch here. See, all you gotta do is take this brush and push upward. Alright, I'm gonna tell you what. Just we're gonna I'm gonna just ask you a bunch of questions, then we're gonna throw it in. Chat GPT. Okay. 
All right, let me just ask you some questions. Give me, uh, where, where's the name of the place you're working at right now? Okay. Academic furniture, okay. All right, and what's your current occupation here? Sales and returns. Man, you got to sell it and return it. Take it back, huh? That's got to be rough. Okay, and what's your position? Okay, sales manager, huh? Okay, that's why you've never been late on your rent, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. Um... All right, how long have you been here? In that, in, well, that position. Okay, since right, 2020. One, okay. All right, to present. All right, what are some of the job functions that you guys um, kind of do there? Yeah, I mean, just... Give me a list of some of the job functions that you do. Okay, you oversee Salesforce of 20, okay. All right, what else? Okay, responsible for monthly pet meetings. Okay, and sales. Projections. Okay. Increased productivity in sales. Okay. All right. Good. 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 All right. All right. Next. Um. Oh. Okay. Sales Mania Incorporated. All right, Netsware. Okay. That's Georgia. All right, Georgia. Okay, Rome, Georgia. Okay. All right, and what was your position there? Sales Associate. Okay, Sales Associate. Okay, and what were your some responsibilities? Okay, take inbound and make outbound calls. Okay, take, and what else? All right, you had to meet a weekly quota. Weekly quota. You met quota every month. Oh, since day one. Nice. Okay. You were promoted. Oh, nice. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, look, I think you got a really, uh, a lot of good attributes. Um, this resume should be a snap. Okay. Um, a lot of times they want to know a little bit about, uh, what about you? About your, uh, Likes. Hobbies. And, uh, things you do on your free time. Excuse me a second while I get a little snack. I know, I stopped the keto. I'm just kind of doing like a little modified, low carb kind of thing, whatever, you know, just eating less carbs. But I don't know, it's a little more sustainable than saying no carbs. I've been trying this. It's just. <laughs> Thank you.
Liquid. Full. Have electrolytes. Helpful. In washing down the uh, Belveda. Okay. Back to the show. So, putting this resume together, they want to know a little bit about your uh, hobbies, your likes, and your interests, and et cetera, et cetera. They want to really kind of get to know who you are. Okay. I don't think you should say anything about your baseball card obsession. Yeah, that's not the kind of hobbies. Think of something that, um, well, no, 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 no. All right, think of something positive, something someone would look on that's not weird, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, Dungeons and Dragons, we're not going to put that on here either. No, 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 no. no. Gathering, no. Mm -mm. Fortnite. Tempting. But no. Okay, how about we do this? Um, you enjoy spending time volunteering for various charitable organizations. Well, you you went to the soup kitchen, didn't you? I know that was two years ago. And I know Grandma, yeah, I know you, I know she begged you to do it. But you did it. Let's put it down again. You did it. There he is. You enjoy spending time volunteering for various charitable organizations. You want a job, don't you? All right. What else? Hmm. Blood donor. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, member of the Blood Bank of Delaware. Okay. <laughs> Blood Bank. You're a card carrying member, aren't you? Triple A? Yeah, 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 yeah. Triple A. Member since 1989. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. All right, we got something to work on now. All right, let me take this and now copy. And Go ahead and write. Format this into a nice resume. Oh, look at her do her thing. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, what you think? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Got it. Got it. I'm going to send it to you right now. All right, so look, I know it's been a while since you've been out there looking. You have to post that thing everywhere. And for every job that you think you want, you're going to have to post it onto their individual site also. And then when you post that thing on, like one of these big sites and all that kind of stuff, just get ready for a whole bunch of junk mail, a whole bunch of scams, a whole bunch of people to be coming after you. You gotta have to filter out through this whole stuff and then hope, just hope, just hope that they, people contact you back. But what I really suggest is that what we do is for every job that you come back, what we're gonna do is we're gonna modify each resume specifically for that job. Because what the, um, the people do is the HR people, all they do is they're looking for keywords when they're pulling these different resumes out there. So what we want to do is stuff keywords into that resume. So where do you get those keywords? Well, that's a good question. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to that website. 
Go into the job description for the job that you're trying to apply for. Take that job description and that job description, take your resume, put both of them in chat GPT or another AI thing. Or if you want to just do it manually, look through there and start in taking words from the job description and inserting them into your resume so in case uh, the job description says that you need business administrative duties or something like that i'm just using that as a string of keywords well if you have something similar in your work experience instead of describing it a different way describe it that same way business administrative duties my business administrative duties consisted of so now you have that string inside of your description and thus it's going to be more likely that they'll pull for your resume because it matches those keywords inside of there so you've got to kind of use this system for your advantage so what you want to do is take that uh, what I would prefer to do is put that in chat GPT or another AI chatbot and put it inside there and tell it to take your resume and add keywords from this description to your resume and then let it do the work um, and it'll understand what you're trying to do what you're trying to do and then you take a look at that here's the one thing about uh, using like chat GPT and all that kind of stuff you always got to check don't just assume that because it spit it out that it's right follow up on their work and sometimes you got to tell it to do more work because it has to undo some of the work that it did or didn't do it right or didn't understand so you got to follow up with it and you can i know you will <laughs> all right um so let's what what am i doing tonight man it's late it's hot I'm hungry, thinking about, well, I know I that was just a little snack, a little snack or something like that, but I'm probably not going to get something to eat anyway, but you know, what you going to do, what you going to do, but uh, I'm going to take a look at my eBay listings and see if anything is selling, and then, you know, kind of just throw out some stuff that's not selling, or to unlist some stuff and all that kind of stuff, and then after that, well... I'll probably just scroll through and look at some of the different little stories, news stories of what's been going on in this world today. And that will uh, depress me enough to finally, well, close my eyes and go to sleep. Talking about sleep. Dude, I had the weirdest dream yesterday. Get this. Here I am. Inside this great barn. It's dark. I don't know how I got there. I don't know why I'm in the middle of this barn in the middle of nowhere. But all I know is I'm in the middle of this barn and all of a sudden, wow. I just hear this figure or something out there just walking around. I'm like looking, all angles around me, and finally, I think I see somebody starting to approach me. And so I start moving quickly in the opposite direction. And I get, and I see this truck that's right there. I mean, and it's not in the direct light. There's a light right there in the little path that's right there, and but this was a little bit off to the, off the path and outside of the light, but there was a truck there nonetheless. And when I looked, I barely even saw the truck myself. And so when I did see the truck, I thought to myself, this is a perfect hiding space. I barely even saw the truck, and now I'm under the truck. Surely, 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 he's not going to be able to see me. Cover upon cover. When all of a sudden, I mean, my heart is just beating. And then all of a sudden, I think my heart stopped. Because I heard 
Someone walking on the gravel. Right near the truck. They walked on the, the path. Walked right past the light into the darkness and approached the truck. And he started walking around and I'm I'm there and I'm I'm looking and I hear the footsteps just approaching and I hear the footprints and all of a sudden he stops. For a moment I just think, well, he's gonna leave. When all of a sudden he bends down and goes, boop. I woke up in a startle. Dude, what do you think that meant? Is there a deeper meaning to that? What's that? Fear has me crippled. Hmm. The truck is a metaphor for something I hide behind when I'm fearful. when I'm scared to face reality. Whoa. Dude, you're deep. <laughs> You've been listening to who? Deepak who? <laughs> okay, well, whatever, whatever, hey, whatever it means. It was a crazy, 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 crazy one. Yo. Did you talk to old girl? Come on, man. You keep saying you're going to say something to her. When are you going to say something to her? <laughs> and you keep saying that. Same old thing over and over. Hmm. Look. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you said yesterday. And the day before. And the day before that. Come on, man, grow a pair ready. Psst. Whatever. Okay. Well, I wasn't the one that said anything, huh? You don't want to open your mouth. Don't talk about me, my status, and where I am and all that. I ain't the one making all them claims. What I'm going to do? You got your chest all out there, beating out there. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to say something to her. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. You ain't done nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, man, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm going to my room. <sighs> you have a good night. All right. Maybe tomorrow you have uh, some better news. All right, don't leave this mess like you did yesterday. All right. Call is finished. I really hope you've enjoyed this experiment and I hope you try it. Let me hear from you. Tomorrow, love is here. Thank you, Tony, and God bless.